Hey guys, it's this little cloth in here, and so there's some Monster Legends release video. We have some more brand new multiversal mythic movesets, as well as some new leaked events. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first moveset is for Strokrax. He's going to be an Earth and Dark attacker with Area Dodge trait, which is amazing, and negative effect explosion skills, which is really cool as well. So let's go and look at the moveset. So he has a low Earth damage to all enemies, so that is really bad. He also has a massive Earth damage, which is better, but still bad. He also has an AoE Vulnerable, which is really good. He has another AoE Vulnerable with an extra turn, which is also amazing. That is actually a very, very good move. And then he has a Heavy Earth Damage with Minor Blind. He has a Minor Blind to all enemies. And then he has a Blind to one enemy. So he doesn't seem super duper OP, but he does seem pretty decent still. The Vulnerable moves are very, very good. So yeah, he seems pretty decent. Definitely go and try to get him. And then we have a Multiversal Era Season 3 checklist if you want to know where any monsters are going to be. So we did look at Power Root in my last video, and he is actually a Free Legends Pass monster. He seems alright. He doesn't seem like super good or anything, but he seems at least alright. And then we also went ahead and looked at Tobble, and I'm not sure where Tobble is. We can find that down here. Tobble is going to be the PvP monster, which it makes sense because he is really, really bad. So yeah, Tobble is very bad. You should still get him though because he's PvP. He'll be really easy to get, but don't use him. He's just kind of really bad. And then Strokrak is going to be the paid monster, and yeah, he's pretty good, which makes sense because they want you to buy him. But yeah, I still wouldn't spend money on him. He's not that good. And then we have a Mulgan, which is going to be a conjuring monster. He's going to be a dark and magic support with stamina drain and negative effect protection skills. So he has negative effect protection on all enemies, which is pretty good. He also has an AoE stamina leak. He can heal himself by 40% and give himself 50% stamina, which is okay. He can remove 100% stamina from one enemy. He also has a single target bleed. He can disable anticipation on all enemies, which is very situational. But that also gives negative effect protection to all enemies, which is really good. And then he has an AoE 100% stamina removal, which is pretty good with stamina leak. And then he can decrease all enemies maximum stamina with bleed to all enemies. So he seems okay. He's honestly not too great though, but he seems at least decent. And then we have the multiplayer monsters traits. We got Celestial, Immune to Blind, and Gains Immunity to Possession. That is just a really bad trait. And he's already not a good monster. So yeah, Tobble definitely is not good at all. And then we have one more moveset for Goruptor. He is going to be another Conjuring monster. So let's go and look at this. So he's going to be a Metal and Magic Controller with Mega Corrupt fear and random and negative effect skills so he has a corrupted and stamina leak to all enemies which is a really good move he also has a mega corrupted and stamina leak to all enemies that is very good he also has a stamina leak to one enemy he's got fear and nightmares to all enemies he's got fear and nightmares to one enemy he can also apply immunity to control to himself with a random negative effect to all enemies which is pretty decent and then he has a nightmares to all enemies and he has a random negative status effect to one enemy with an extra turn which is really good so yeah really good monster actually Actually, I like this one quite a bit. This is probably the best one we've seen in this video. Just a pretty all-around great monster. And then we have a new monster design for a monster named Epimicrodondus. I probably said that very wrong, but it is a very interesting name. And yeah, he's going to look like this. I love this design so much. It is actually very, very cool. This is one of my favorite designs in a very long time. And then we also have some information about the Bounty Hunt. So Epimicrodondus is going to be inside of the Bounty Hunt and he's going to be pay to win. So yeah, I guess go ahead and get him if you want. He will cost money though, and he's not like the most amazing monster in the world. So yeah, go and buy him if you want, I guess though. But yeah, he's not super great. I don't think he's worth money at all. And yeah, those are going to be all of the elites for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all of these brand new monsters. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.